welcome and today we're going to be showcasing the buckle steed v8 coupe and some of its features and take it for a little test drive so let's begin <laughs> Now right away looking at the V8 coupe, you can tell it's a little different, a little more aggressive than the base model V6. It has a big front grille, it has aggressive lines, but not quite the R99 level of the body kit. The rear also has the more aggressive taillights, the dual exhaust, and the racing stripe down the middle our large trunk, we got equipment for your usage and a rifle, and then under the hood, you got a V8, not supercharged like the R99, but not V6, and this one is tuned up for performance. So now if we hop in, Right away you'll see that there's two displays on the side here, one in the center, it has uh, eco mode as well as performance mode, which pretty much performance mode allows the engine to utilize 100% of its capabilities. Eco mode detunes it down to about 50%, and then without pressing any of the buttons, your standard driving mode is around 70%. Spacious cab, we got uh, four seats, equipment in the dashboard in the glove compartment as usual let's start it up so you'll see here that we got gps the heat is operated through the control panel and we got mood lights as well so now if we kick it into drive so as well the V8 version of the Steed has an automatic transmission, however if you hit the up arrow key you go into manual mode. So you can use manual mode up to 5 gears, the same gears that the automatic mode or the drive mode goes through, but of course you get your own gear changing and selecting. But let's just start off and drive for now. So in a straight line, as you see here, by the end we get to the by the time we get to the grass, we're already doing 150. We'll uh, restart that one right there. There we go. Let's not try to crash into the the rocks again here. So actually, you don't have to turn off the handbrake anymore because now, when you put it into drive, or when you put it out of park, you got there you go. So, let's start it off. This time let's try in performance mode. Let's see how fast you are when you get to the grass. Okay, let's go through the gears. Yeah. Yeah, so we're doing about 170 as we enter the grass area. A little more aggressive handling, and it has race brakes. So the brakes are actually stronger than on the base model. Alright, here we are on the island of Donk, and we're going to take this uh, Buckle Steed V8 through the mountain roads and see what kind of performance we can get out of her. Now, just for comparison, this time we're going to put it right into manual mode. And because you could select your own gears, even without performance mode on, you'll see a world of difference here. And you have a shift light, but you don't have to listen to it if you don't want. So here we are going already 200. Yeah. Yeah. So, of course, the manual mode is much more aggressive because you select your own gears, but the automatic mode is still plenty of powerful. So, 
this is without turning on <coughs> the eco mode or the uh, performance mode. So now we're just testing the car. So here we have the three V8 buckle steeds, three configurations. On the left we have the coupe version, it has the uh, rear trunk. In the middle we have the convertible version, so different type of trunk, different kind of configuration altogether. And then on the very left we went retro and bought back the uh, Trans Am, the classic style of the T-top for this particular muscle car. So what you have here is an entirely different type of vehicle that you don't see very often these days. But anyways, the three of them are all the same internals. They have the same engines, the same tuning, transmission, everything, just a bit different body style. So you choose whichever one's to your liking and that's the one you can have a lot of fun with. So in this case, we'll take the T-top, take it for a spin, throw it into gear, throw on the performance mode, and let's go to the end of the runway and back. Now it really flies as it goes through these shifts. That's okay. We can get, probably get up to, yeah, all right, 160-ish. Now, of course, if we put it into manual mode, that's going to be a game changer. So now we're going more than 200. Even starts to get a little bit of lift there. And now, both the others would be identical in performance, just a different layout. I'd like to thank you for watching. Hope you learned something about these vehicles. Comment on the video and stay tuned for more.